Shannon, what does this tell you? That this Bill Belichick impersonation is going too far, Skip. Mm. We were talking about this yesterday, how Coach Belichick, you know, back in what? That was 2000. He agreed to take the Jets job. And then a day later, he resigned that post. He did. So Josh McDaniels, this also tells me Josh McDaniels is still the sl- snake that everybody thought he was. Yep. And Could if, that be a chip off the snake's oh, block? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's hard for me to believe that if he doesn't get this head coaching job at New England, mm-hmm. that he'll ever get a head coaching job. Because at the end of the day, Skip, in situations like this, all you have is your word. Yep. They had a press release. We're having a press conference on Wednesday, which is today, to announce our new head coach, Josh McDaniels. You mean to tell me Mr. Kraft didn't know until yesterday that Josh McDaniels had accepted Mm. the job to go to Mm. Indy? Of course he knew. But now all of a sudden he finagles his way out. Mm -hmm. I'm glad he did Mm. because Josh McDaniels would have been exposed again. Mm. This is what we know. When he coaches Tom Brady, yep. they're the number one scoring offense. They're the number one offense in the NFL. True. He went to Denver. He was 17th. He called plays at St. Louis. Yep. He was 32nd. There's only mm. 32 teams. Skip. Mm. The only thing worse than him calling plays outside of New England was his head coaching tenure in Denver. That was worse than his play calling in St. Louis and in Denver. Mm. I can't believe this, but I had a, a sneaky suspicion, and you and I were talking about it yesterday. Mm-hmm. Why wouldn't they announce something right after the Super Bowl? Because everybody, that's what, normally, you're on the Super Bowl, you're on a, uh, one of the teams that's in the Super Bowl that Monday, such and such is our head coach. Mm-hmm. Romeo Cannell goes to Kansas City. Or, yep. Uh, yep. Charlie Weiss goes to Notre Dame. Mm-hmm. Eric Mangini goes to Cleveland. Yep. Nothing. Nothing. Tuesday. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's going to happen. Confirm that Josh McDaniel's going to take the job. Mm-hmm. And then breaking news yesterday. Yep. This is, this is so Bush League. This is so garbage. Josh McDaniel, you gave the man your word. So all of a sudden, you got second thoughts. You knew Andrew Luck's situation. Well, Andrew Luck might not be healthy. Hell, he was healthy when you signed it, when you told him you would take the deal. Mm-hmm. Now, all of a sudden, you worried about Andrew Luck. Hmm. Hey, hey, do you. But you don't be. What about the coaches, Skip? What about the coaches that was on the New England Patriots staff that say they're going with Josh? What if Coach Belichick says, okay, I see y'all. Mm-hmm. What about the other coaches that have probably told their employers, employers that we're going somewhere else? Now what? Well, two of those coaches are going to stay in Indianapolis. So, I don't know, is that fair to them? I'm with you. Yeah. That, that's, a, that's a jack move. That's a sucker move. Mm-hmm. That's a slimy, weasel, Josh McDaniels move mm-hmm. in his bush league. I cannot disagree with anything you just said. But, to your credit, you did bring this up yesterday. You were suspicious about why it had not been announced. Then it did get announced during our show, and I was like, well, I guess he did take the job. Then he unannounced it a little bit later. (laughs) And I still sit back and say, hmm, this is very interesting. Do I think that Josh McDaniels now has a contractual guarantee that he will replace Bill Belichick? No, I do not. And Peter King on Monday Morning Quarterback says that, to his knowledge, there is no contractual guarantee. Is there some sort of handshake, guarantee, promise? I'm going to assume there is, right? Right. And I'm going to quote one Steve Buckley. He's a columnist for the Boston Herald, and he's been in Boston forever and a day. seems like he's been working about as long as I have, and he's (laughs) covered the Patriots for year upon year upon year, way back to the – Craig James Patriot days that when they lost to the 85 Bears. And Steve Buckley wrote in his piece for this morning, for the moment, Josh McDaniels remains the Patriots offensive coordinator. I'm still quoting Steve Buckley. But you know, and I know, and the Crafts know, and Brady knows, and I assure you Bill Belichick knows that Josh McDaniels is the next head coach of the Patriots. It's just a matter of of if he takes the reins next week or next season. Next week? Is that a little sensational? Mm -hmm. The Herald occasionally tends toward the sensational. But this is on the front page of the Boston Herald, and and I'm going to take this one to the bank that he thinks there's at least a small chance this could happen sooner than later. Mm -hmm. What have we talked about all year long? And what hit the crescendo with the Seth Wickersham piece in ESPN.com, or or I guess it was in the magazine, it was on ESPN. Correct. What was the bottom line? What was our takeaway 
that Bill Belichick lost the power struggle. That is correct. Not, not directly with Tom Brady, but to Robert Kraft. Right. Robert Kraft, again, one more time, decided in favor of Brady it's over right. Garoppolo and ordered, according to that piece, and we both believe that piece, ordered Bill Belichick at the trade deadline, you will part ways with your succession plan at quarterback. Mm-hmm. And Bill Belichick, according to reports, picked up the phone and called San Francisco, called Kyle Shanahan, called John Lynch, I think he called Kyle first, okay. and said, would you give me a two for Jimmy G? Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. Yep. And I thought that felt eh, a little sabotage but but it felt like Belichick, almost out of spite, said, I'm just going to give you Jimmy G. Normally you call and says, what, are you, yeah. uh, what will you yeah. offer us for X player? Okay. And then you start bargaining. You don't start it out, Skip. Uh, you give us a two for Jimmy. <sighs> What are they supposed to say? No, we'll give you a four, though. Of course, because a lot of people were wanting to give you a first for him at the uh, in the offseason. Yep. So now I'm just speculating. This is my two cents from a distance. Do I think Tom Brady's not real happy with Bill Belichick off what happened in the Super Bowl? I don't think he's real happy. That's just me. Again, Tom Brady did make the mistake late in the game that eventually cost them the game. But he also broke the all-time playoff record with 505 yards passing, and he was part of an offense that for the first time in NFL history, regular season or post, broke the 600-yard total mark and lost the game because the defense gave up 41 points to a quote-unquote backup quarterback in Nick Mm -hmm. Foles. So is Tom not happy with Bill? I don't know. Is it possible Robert Kraft and Son are not real pleased with the head coach who runs the defense? It's probably not real pleased. Well, Skip, there's always been because Tom could not understand why couldn't he be on a different playing field with Coach Belichick than all the other players. Yep. Coach Belichick treated him just like he did the special teams guy, (sighs) just like he treated Matthew Slater. All right. This started because what happened? Alex Guerrero access. Mm. sideline huge coming and going because if you listen listen to Mm -hmm. watch those docuseries Mm -hmm. and listen how tom brady talks about alex guerrero Mm -hmm. he believes in him he believes next to his parents he might believe alex guerrero to the point it's cult like yes hung the moon or at least you know pull the shade up so you Mm -hmm. can see the moon Mm -hmm. he believes that skip and coach belichick says no more access. No more access. No sidelines. No, no going plane. and coming. No if, plane. No team. No plane. plane. Yep. If hey guys, if y'all want to go see him, y'all go see him on y'all off time. Yep. You will not see him here. So that started. And plus the fact, Tom knew how Coach Belichick felt. Body language. You know how this man feels about Jimmy Garoppolo, and he never had that type of relationship mm-hmm. with you. He's never. He's never spoken about Tom Brady, Skip. In 17 years, 18 years that he's coached him, as he has in the glowing terms when they asked him after he had traded him and they did the conference call. Mm -hmm. Smart, great guy, hard worker. They're getting a special player. Mm. He said said when Tom cut his thumb, Skip, he said that wasn't a little constitutional crisis. Mm -hmm. That wasn't. Oh, he took big shots. (laughs) Not a football crisis. Uh, What was the other quote about? how overblown this yeah. was. It was it a was media open, circus. It wasn't open-heart surgery. surgery. Yeah, it wasn't open-heart surgery, yeah. Ask him plus. Okay, so... Ask Tom about them footballs. Correct. There you go. <laughs> that started it. That, that was the first battle line drawn. <laughs> don't look at me. I don't know anything about footballs. Ask my quarterback. Ask, ask okay, very interesting. So, do, do I believe that Bill Belichick could walk away tomorrow? I guess there's a chance. Uh, Peter King again reports that Bill Belichick, according to people close to him, will be back next year and probably the next year. All I know about next year is they're already, obviously, the Vegas favorite to win it all again next year. Correct. So it's hard to believe he would walk away unless it's just out of spite. He, he just lost a power struggle that he didn't think at this point in his career, the legacy he's built, that he deserved to lose. Right. That's the first time, as you pointed out, in his 18-year tenure that the boss said no to him right. on any personnel, on any right. football decision. He's made every decision up to that point, and that was made by the owner. Okay, so now let's be fair with this. Are there other reasons Josh McDaniels got cold feet and backed out? You know, Maybe. Okay, let, let's just look at them. Again, snaky or not, I, I don't like this because you should be more definitive, more – more. Uh, just tell them. Just yeah, tell d- them. Just, 
Yeah, but but again, okay, Josh McDaniels has, he's 41 years of age. He has four kids. I think the appro- these are approximate ages. They're 13, 11, 7, and 4. And several people, starting with Mike Reese, who covers the Patriots for ESPN.com, wrote about his kids mean a lot to him and their happiness, obviously, in Foxborough. They're happy in Foxborough, and it's hard, as we all know, to uproot your family and take them to Indianapolis. Yeah. Okay. That's the coaching profession. It is. It's what you it is. No, it, it happens to all of them multiple times. It's almost like a yeah. military family. It, it is because every two years, three years, boot you in I, Germany, you in I, I, Colorado, you all over the okay, place. Okay, I am with you. But there was a Chris Mortensen report. Well, I'm giving a lot of credit to ESPN here. Way to go, ESPN! <laughs> but Chris Mortensen report on Sunday that Andrew Luck might might need a little more cleanup procedure, surgical procedure <laughs> to his shoulder. So Jeez. he's not right yet. So can you blame Josh McDaniels for saying, uh-oh, I don't know about that. But Skip, he knew. I, I'm you would sure. think. Yes. Okay. And you knew, first of all, the guy missed the entire season mm-hmm. because of his shoulder. Yeah. So that should give you some pause to begin with, regardless if he needs more surgery moving forward. Okay. So it tells you the significance of the injury that it would take him down for the entirety of the season. Correct. Next, number three on this list. I'm not a big fan of Jim Ursay. That's just me. I, I kind of like him personally. I know him a little bit off the field. He went to SMU in Dallas, but I wouldn't want to work for him. That's just me. But, but again, Josh got very close to working for him, but I can't condemn him for saying, you know what? I don't know if I want to bet on that guy and go, go live with him mm-hmm. because he's a little more meddlesome. He's a little more hands-on. He wants to be more involved in the – he's got a – not a little. He's got a lot of Jerry Jones in mm-hmm. him, okay? So – They've gone through different GMs. Remember, Ryan Grigson was the Deflate Gate whistleblower, right? And yep. there may be some Deflate Gate going on in this one, like we got you, like yeah. Robert Kraft said. Oh, you thought I got you, had, you. you thought you had your yeah, coach. You thought you had, oh, I got you. I got you back a little bit, right? <laughs> so now they have a new GM in Ryan Ballard. I don't know how he gets along with with uh, uh, Josh McDaniels, but now, do you want to go coach a four and twelve team? And and the cupboard looks kind of bare to me. Yes. I, I mean, it doesn't look like a real talent. I, mean, you got, you got some, I mean, you got some okay pieces. I mean, the tight end, I like the tight end. Yeah, okay. I like uh, Moncrief. I like T. Y. Hilton. T. Y.'s getting up there. He's like close to thirty, right? Frank Gore doesn't seem to no, age. I don't doesn't know. Seem to I mean, age. He's okay. another Benjamin Button. Okay, but are you stuck with Jacoby Brissett potentially for another couple of years? You already coached him as your right. third string quarterback right. in Foxborough, but are you willing to go? to a division that used to be eminently winnable, and now you got Saxonville, and you got Deshaun Watson, and you got a Tennessee team that did it, make it, the it, playoffs. That is correct. And all of a sudden, it's not very winnable. You right. look like clearly the fourth best team in this division, right? They look like the fourth best team when he was interviewing for the job. He did what? So okay. after the Super Bowl, he had this epiphany, this, this, this awakening that, man, Oh, the Colts are not as good as I thought they were. Because mm. you look at Jacksonville was in the AFC title game. Deshaun Watson is already running. He's posting this on Instagram. Yeah, as mm. you mentioned, Tennessee, they made the playoffs. Yep. I got a quarterback that hadn't played in a year because of an injury. Yep. He's had an injury history. He has. He knew all that before. The second interview, He not only did he get a first interview, he uh, uh, recommended a second interview. Mm-hmm. So he knew everything that you and I are discussing now. He knew that before. Before he agreed. Be, 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 mm-hmm. Thank you. Yep, he did. But now all of a sudden, you got people that's like, okay, I'm coming. We coming, Josh. We coming. You talking about you didn't want to move your family. What about the guy that says, okay, tell their wife, we're moving. Okay. Kids, you're going, you're not going to have the same friends anymore. Okay, but until yesterday, he did not know exactly how much Robert Kraft loved Josh McDaniels. And I'm sure Robert, who's a real charmer, he has great people skills, he pulled him aside and he said, I love you, man. And I don't want to lose you. And what will it take to keep you? And he, I'm sure, upped the ante greatly. He's making head coach money. He's making head coach money. And then I'm sure there was at least a handshake. Assurances. uh, Some assurance. You are our guy. You are positioned. We're not sure what's going to happen with Bill, but we want you to know Mm -hmm. that you are the successor for this job. Okay, well, all that is... Pretty hard to turn down. Wouldn't you rather coach Tom Brady and the Patriots than that, coach what's left in of Indianapolis? Course, okay. absolutely, absolutely, Skip. But I just believe, look, if you had cold feet, you could have called a man a week ago. Now they got to scramble around and try to go out there and find, you know, find another coach. I just believe Josh McDaniels could have, I, I, should have. It looks, handled, it looks bad. Yeah. I do not disagree. But he did have some work to do last week, so whatever. I got no problem with okay. that. I got, right. got no, got no problem yeah. with that. Okay. 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show, and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed, or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.